hey y'all this is Brett and I've been really busy lately I shaved the dog hi <laughs> look at you oh 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 my gosh look at that bear tummy hi <laughs> you got a shaving time. <laughs> good girl. Dad did a good job, huh? <laughs> and I uh, set up a rain catchment tarp, a cotton tarp over my deck today. And uh, in the last few days, I got rid of the Wi-Fi because I became aware of the smart meters and the smart meters that the utility companies are installing they put out microwave electricity so one of my viewers called me and told me that they were installing smart meters randomly on houses and I called the electric company and they said that that was true and so she told me that there was a way that I might be able to keep them from installing one and that's by putting up a sign So that's what I did. I put a sign and you know even if the guy still installs it I wanted them, I wanted him to know that I did not want that shit installed on my house because it's emitting microwave electricity and it's emitting it for miles which means that it's got to be a really strong signal. And so um, hopefully that will And then happen. I found out that the Wi-Fi as well as the cordless phones put out microwave electricity. And you know, there's just too much of that crap in our world and I don't want it in my house. And so I was like, well, what can I do to get rid of that? So I ordered four 100 foot cables, ethernet cables off Amazon for $10 a piece and I installed three of those. There are four ports on the modem and so I ran them directly to the rooms. Now just because you've run those directly to the rooms doesn't mean that that's going to make the modem turn off the Wi-Fi. So what you have to do is you get into the system through your computer and then you go to the, the uh, configuration for your modem and the first question that it asks you if, is if you would like the Wi-Fi for the modem turned on or off. So you click off and that's it. It turns the Wi-Fi signal, the microwave signal, off of the modem. And um, additionally, there are people that are concerned with security issues that want those turned off. Uh, for me, that's not a big issue. It's the health issue. And I don't believe that Wi-Fi electricity being projected out into my house is a smart idea. So I had it turned off and additionally I've been learning about grounding appliances and I bought 750 feet of this conductive tubing from lessemf.com and I'll be grounding and neutralizing the electricity from every appliance in my house. And this computer, like this one, is now grounded with this little wire connected to the outside of that plug. And it's just a rig. <laughs> it's a quick fix rig. Just like this gator clip is connected to that little screw on the side of this computer and it grounds it. It grounds it and it grounds it perfectly and sometimes that's what we have to do to be able to fix things because the government doesn't require companies to have things very tight. To have the, the, the constituents, the the, the properties of things don't have to be that tight. The food doesn't have to be that clean. You can pump antibiotics and hormones into your cattle if you want to. The air quality doesn't have to be all that clean here and there, you know. They don't have tight regulations. 
nor do they have tight regulations on the appliances. So you have to take charge of your life. And you know, it's as it should be. People need to be able to make things as clean and as healthy in their own individual lives as they desire, deem necessary. And so, uh, let's see. Take a look at the dog. <laughs> now, some people, they don't take the time to shave their dogs, or they'll take their dogs to somebody else to shave them, which is fine, but I do my own. I do my own dog. It feels better, huh? And now there's not hair all over the freaking place. <laughs> Oh my God, hair, hair everywhere. Let's go down here. I'm going to show you my rain catchment tarp. Now, by the way, there are no more wireless telephones. This is a wired phone with speaker phone. And uh, it works awesome. It works awesome and it runs on batteries, four AA batteries. It's an AT&T. This is my new organic cotton rain catchment tarp. I'll show you how I've fixed it so that it works. And by the way, if you appreciate my videos and you want the most awesome pillow. You want the most awesome body pillow and you don't need any more bed. If you want a back support for your car seat or office chair. If you want the most awesome orthotics, go to vitalitymassage.net. So, I put a couple of these, they're like, 10 foot 2 by 4s. I screwed them onto the corner of the deck there. And as you can see, it's got a little hook up there. Now I'm going to set this tripod up and I hope that you can see me. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, so. Here's my tarp, and as soon as it's ready to rain, I'll grab the tarp and I'll come on out here and set it up. I don't want it up all the time because I don't want it constantly getting dirty. But I had to make this tarp because it comes only in this organic form. <clears throat> from nearseanaturals.com on the roll. It comes only on a roll, not a pre-made cut side. Huh? hooks up there. And there's two hooks over here. And then here, here I put a little line that will hold this corner down so that the water will drain off into some kind of a container. Okay. Now, it's very important to get a, a natural cotton, organic cotton tarp. I bought a tarp from mytarp.com that is just like this one that I use. Can you see that over there, over the car? Now, that's fine for the car, 
but I'm going to save drinking water off of this tarp. And so I didn't want one that smelled. And when I got this from my, my tarp, they said that it was untreated, but it was smelling of some kind of a chemical. And this company, Near Sea Naturals, is the one that I buy my materials from for my pillows. Organic. And when I smelled it, I was like, oh, this is perfect because it has no stink at all. It's absolutely pure. Now, some of you may be saying, well, why are you saving rainwater? Why don't you just drink filtered water? Well, the reason is because rainwater is just like the purest water. And when you see the plants perk up, it's because that water is like, it's got ozone in it. And ozone therapy is one of the things that they do for people that have cancer. Because ozone, O3, kills bacterial infections and whatever in your body. And so, it's not allowed in the United States, but ozone therapy, you can do that in Mexico or wherever. But you see, what they try and do is they try and get a perfect amount in the water or the injections, whatever that they're, they're giving their patients. The perfect amount is readily available in rainwater. And if you live in a place where you can't drill, and like Hawaii, for instance, in Hawaii, they save a lot of their rainwater in certain places because they have the ability, it rains quite a bit, and they, have, they don't have the ability to get it from the ground. And so, they save it in these things called cisterns. It's an underground water container of sorts, like a swimming pool. And they save it off their roofs. But you don't want to save rainwater off a tar and gravel roof because it's tar and gravel, it's going to get into the water. You don't want to save it off of a painted metal roof either, although a lot of people think that that's acceptable. I did that once in a condo in, in, that I lived in, in uh, Pagosa Springs, Colorado, and the water was orange, the same color as the freaking roof. And that paint from the heat of the sun gets softer and softer and softer. So it's not logical to save rainwater off a roof that's going to absorb, the water's going to absorb whatever is on that roof. This is pure cotton, organic, untreated, undyed cotton. I can wash it if I want to. So far it hasn't been washed, it's just pure. I had to sew two pieces together. This is something that if I want to, I can sell. Another product that I can sell. You see, every single thing that I've created on my website is something that I use. Whether it be a squatting toilet platform or my orthotics, I could not do without my orthotics. If I did not have support for my arches, then I would be screwed. And, and so my pillows, <laughs> if you told me that I had to sleep on a foam pillow again, <laughs> or any other kind of a pillow other than millet hulls, I would be like, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. And the same with the body pillow. So, thanks for joining me. Um, if, uh, if enough people are interested in this, I may consider sewing them for them. If you want to make your own, just go to nearseanaturals.com and uh, I can't remember what page it's on. It's canvas 18. 18 ounce canvas. It's heavy. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I think that's all I wanted to tell you, although I know that there are other things I have going on. Like I need to <laughs> I need to go plant all of these great plants in the garden down there and that's gonna happen in the next couple of days. And then I've got tomatoes that are gonna go down there on the lower level. I was digging weeds down there recently. Okay, so now thanks for joining me. Oh yeah, guess what else? I'm going cold turkey on the news. And I mean, like, this is something that's taken me longer to do than to get off of meat. It took me 19 years to completely quit meat. I know, I've told you that before. 
<laughs> but it's now been my whole adult life that I've been watching and just feeding off of bullshit negativity from the news, you know? And it must be a good sign that I'm getting more positive and more energetic, etc. That I don't have to rely on that crutch anymore. I am not going to watch MSNBC or any other news. And you know I don't have TV, but I watch it. I've been watching it on the computer. And I'm not going to listen to NPR, the radio. I'm not going to listen to that while I'm cooking and stuff in the kitchen anymore. Yeah!